There are many good reasons to upgrade to Moodle 2.3. This presentation focuses on some of the benefits that the new version brings to you in managing your Moodle course. Adding files to your Moodle course is as easy as dragging and dropping the files from your desktop onto the Moodle course page. This works with one file or many files. This can be a huge time saver when building courses. Each file resource is created with the default settings for that resource type, so be sure to check the default settings in the admin area. The Moodle file picker is also had a makeover. The new version in Moodle 2.3 is a lot nicer to work with with new layout options making it easier to access resources across a number of courses. The new icons for different file types and thumbnails for images also help in selecting the right file each time. Editing the name that appears on the course page used to require editing the full resource and multiple page loads, but not anymore. Now you can simply click on the edit title icon and it will enable you to edit or correct the text used in the name without having to reload the page. This will be a great time saver, especially when you need to tweak the names of the files you have dragged into the course, as the name given is the same as the file. Adding activities and resources is easier now with the new activity chooser. If you want to know which tool to use, just select the tool and it gives you an overview of the tool and ideas for its use. For more details, it also links directly to the official Moodle documentation. Prior to 2.3, when you were editing a form, you could accidentally close the browser or navigate away from the page and lose the content you had added to the form. This could have been while you were adding a forum post or while configuring a new activity. Now you get a pop-up, which asks you to confirm if you want to leave the page without saving the changes. This is another great time saver. Before 2.3, you had to choose which of the assignments suited your needs before configuring it, and if you decided to change that midway through, you had to start all over again. No more with 2.3. The assignment settings can be configured just within the one activity to enable online text, file upload, comments, and uploading a file as feedback. Sometimes, a complicated rubric is not required for use in marking assignments, where a simple list of criteria, an explanation, and grading options is needed. This new grading method gives you exactly that, and adds in the option to have standardized comments. It now lets you define frequently used comments so you don't have to redo them over and over again. This new feature helps you save time when managing a course page. If you need to add a new course section at the bottom of the page, you can now simply click on the plus symbol and it'll add a new section. This saves you having to go into the course settings page and back. Equally, if you have an extra blank section that you don't need, you can now just click on the minus button to remove it. But don't worry, if you remove a section that has activities in it, they will still show up, but just as orphaned activities. The new shortcut or alias system is a huge time saver for teachers and administrators alike. Once you add a file to a course, you can reuse it in another course by using the alias link rather than duplicating it. This means that if you update the original file, the linked version is also updated. This is great for any common documents and files that you have to use in all courses, such as standard assessment guidelines or library information. Before 2.3, navigating the server files involved a lot more clicking than it does now. The new simplified navigation makes it simple to find a file that you used in a different course. The new visual layout makes it a lot cleaner to see what files are where. So if you'd like to try out Moodle 2.3, check out our demo site, contact your account manager, or join one of our Moodle 2.3 webinars.